Hey, what's up, team? Just wanted to hop on here real quick. Tell some of you sales guys, stop messaging me. I don't care about your sales funnels. I don't care about your $3,000 a month coaching packages. I don't need a copywriter. I don't need any of that. I do all my own stuff. I wear a lot of hats. I'm okay with it. I've been doing it for 11 years. It's just how I do, okay? You guys are salesmen. I'm a trainer. I'm a teacher. I'm a coach. I'm that first who just happens to sell my services. I don't have to convince anybody to train them. People come to me. That's how I've ran my business for the past 10 years. Word of mouth, recommendations, friends of friends. I have conversations in person. That comes out naturally. People ask, what do you do? When I tell them what I do, they get more curious. If they, need more if they have more questions, they ask me. I send them to my website. I send them to my Instagram. It's that simple. No funnels. No sneaky tactics. I don't need to get on a sales call. If your focus is 10 grand months and closing 10 clients for high ticket prices, you're a salesman. You're not a coach. You've got it twisted. And I'm the complete opposite. This is just how I've been. This is what I do. So stop messaging me. Don't tell me that my ads are bad. Don't tell me what I'm doing is wrong. What you guys are doing is wrong. And without coaches and trainers like me, other coaches and trainers out there too, you guys wouldn't exist. Your whole business model is based on the idea that you need a coach and you need to program their website and automate all this stuff so you can get as much money as possible so that you can make a commission off of their hard work. You guys are like leeches, are those fish, the clean sharks, but you're the shark, right? You're swimming in the tide, in the rip curl behind us. It's lame, and I get so tired of seeing it every single day, every time I log into Instagram. I don't do that. People come to me, great. If they don't, it's okay. I'm okay with it. I have a job. I love my job. It's tough, but I'm okay with it. I like my station in life. I'm okay with that. Just stop messaging me. Leave me alone. Leave my clients alone. I help beginners and people who are returning to the fitness space. People who are broken by it maybe once or twice. People who tried endless programs from sharky people like you guys and got burned out because they realized that fitness as an industry is a complete mess. It's jumped the shark. People have no idea what its original intent was. And this guy blowing his thing he needs to be quiet. I don't have lots of transformation photos. I don't have six pack ab transformations. I don't do that, that's not what I do. That's not what fitness and health and training was intended to be for. Fitness is to make your life better so that your physicality doesn't degrade so quickly while you're on earth. No one gets to see or has really got to see the, the 10 years I put in in this garage or the gym over there or the, the countless hours I spent helping people in a post rehab setting, working with physical therapists, dementia patients, people with Alzheimer's, people that don't remember my face every single day I go in to teach them class, but yet I show up every single day and I give them the same respect and dues that they deserve because they're a human being. If I can get somebody to stand up out of a chair without having to rely on their walker, even if it's for just a moment that's a victory if your blood pressure goes down just because I've got you walking more or you're, you you've decided that you're gonna start doing the elliptical which you've never done before but what I said made you believe enough that it was possible because I've seen it myself then that's a victory too that is what fitness is about making your life better getting stronger having the energy to run with your kids it's not about Lamborghinis and 10k sales and closers like people are more than post-it notes people are more than business statistics people are more than six-pack abs and tattoos and lamborghinis and if that's you that's great you do you i'll keep doing me